Hi Virgo, welcome to Virgo Sweets Tarot. I'm Shawnee. Welcome to the channel. If you are new, uh, make sure to hit that subscribe uh, button so that you can be notified when I do post a, vid a Virgo video. Um, make sure to hit the like button, all that good stuff. Comment down below if you are new to the channel. For my Virgos that are returning, what's up, Virgo? This is your general reading. We're going to start your reading out with guidance, and then we're going to dive in deeper with the tarot. So again, I hope you guys are having a fabulous Monday. I hope you feel restored, refreshed. We're going to get in into this reading and see what spirit wants you to know. Now, we already have a weekly reading for this week already out. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and check out that reading. I believe October 17th through the 13th. So check out that weekly reading, guys. Um, if you haven't already, but this is a general reading, we're going to see what else Spirit wants you to be aware of this week for Virgo, especially Monday today. What is the guidance? Thank you. All right. Let's see. Honor your feelings. So we have Pisces energy, two cancer cards. All right. So we have a lot of heavy water energy mm -hmm. and leadership. Capricorn energy. All right, Virgo. So our sister sign is here. For some of you, you could have Capricorn in your chart. Capricorn rising, Capricorn Venus, uh, Capricorn moon. You know, we have Pisces. I have Pisces moon. We have Cancer here. So take it as it resonates. But this is the energy that's coming and, and that's here. And this is going to help you this week, especially for today. Now, it says, Virgo, today, start your week out in a relaxed energy, but make sure that you are honoring your feelings so they're not just bottled up and become explosive later down the line, okay? So, guys, if you're, if you're feeling insecure, doubtful about your future, about, you know, uh, like starting a new job, whatever it is, a relationship, if you're feeling doubtful, Spirit is saying, push through any insecurity at this time. Push through any insecurities. Step up and lead as the Capricorn. I love mountain, the, the goat, the mountain goat Capricorn climbing the mountains. Um, very uh, hard thing to do, but the Capricorns are able, uh, the goats are able to do it. And when they climb that, ladder of success when they're overcoming major challenges they end up the ceo the business owner you know they're at the top all right so spirit is saying that's where you belong virgo with your sister sign capricorn you like the mountain goat climbing that mountain to the top and when you want to come down and mingle with the rest of the folk, <laughs> you know, the regular folk, you could do that. But Virgo, you have a position at the top. All right. And I feel like you are supposed to be in a powerful position. And also, if this is, has nothing to do with work, there may be some sort of leadership or something that you need to step up and do. Um, it's almost like taking action first. Like in a relationship, you might be waiting for your partner to do something. Spirit is saying, you can do it, Virgo. You can step up and take the lead. You can apologize first. You can be the one who mend the relationship. You can be the one who takes the initiative. Um, I'm getting that takes the, the first step. So Spirit is saying, Virgo, start your week out very relaxed. And this is going to happen once. This is going to take place. You're going to start to feel more relaxed and, and at peace when you honor your feelings, okay? Push through any, any insecurity. And to do that, you would do that by stepping up and leading, all right? Leading by example. Whatever it is that it resonates with you, step up and lead, for some of you, you've never been in a powerful position before where you're a manager, a supervisor, a director. You're in a position of strong responsibility. This could be, again, a new job, a new relationship. Virgo, push through it because I feel like it's meant for you. 
Yeah, I'm getting like, I, I don't know why I heard the stage. Yeah, it's meant for you, Virgo. This position in life, this power position has your name all over it. Wow, this is big, Virgo. Let's get some mindful info. We have allow. All right, so let's see what this is about. So it says, Virgo, you're being asked to open your energy field and take down your walls of protection in order to allow goodness into your life. Sometimes without even realizing it, we block ourselves from the flow of life. It's safe to open yourself back up, guys. This may be, you know, what you're going through right now, Virgo. You've completely took yourself off the market, just not realizing that you are really protecting yourself, protecting your emotions. For some of you, you don't have a lot of people in your circle. You don't mix and mingle with a lot of people. Well, Virgo, this is the time for you to come out of your shell, come out of that hermit mode, come out of that I don't know why I'm hearing isolated. So this might be for some Virgos that even if you're not isolated from people, the flow of life, and you can feel it. That's that water energy that I'm picking up here, heavy water. So Virgo, Spirit is saying it's time for you to tap back in to the flow of life. Allow yourself to open back up, open your energy field so that you can tap into the flow of life. So life can move you to that power position. I love it, Virgo. I, again, it ha this position has your name all over it. So Virgo, it's yours. Like this is yours, literally a gift from the divine. I wanna see, I wanna see, look at this, yeah. I opened up the deck and I saw a golden nugget. So yeah, Virgo, I feel like not only is this a leadership role stepping up into a powerful position, but you know, in life, this also could be spiritually, but I'm getting financial energy now. Yeah, so that's what's going on. When you open up, this inner, yeah, because see, a lot of us are feeling blocked, right? A lot of us can re can relate to this energy, um, you know, especially some of you in the comments, okay? It's good that you're honoring your feelings. I'm not seeing the abundance, okay? I'm just going off of some of the people in the comments. You know, you're not, you know, you're not, ta you're not feeling like you're tapped in, to the flow of life. So this reading is, is more, you know, specifically for you. Now, this is a general reading, so it's gonna be filled with lots of messages that you, that multiple people may be able to resonate with, right? But for my Virgos that are feeling like they're not receiving the abundance, they're not connecting with the financial positive cycle, Virgo, you could have, Due to protecting yourself, you could be in this situation currently where you've blocked yourself from the flow of life. And this is for my Virgos who've been through a lot of downs. You know, we go through ups and downs, but for some of us, we go through heavier, you know, hardships, heavier downs in our life where we've given people too many chances. We've helped people out that didn't have our back. We trusted people we shouldn't have trusted. We had to start all over. I can definitely resonate, okay? So Virgo, I feel like for my Virgos, I've had some real hardships in your life. Virgo, you may have protected your energy field. So, you know, this is just a little work that needs to be done so that you can tap into this abundance, Okay, Virgo, so push through your insecurity of feeling like you're not tapped in or you're not connected to the abundance flow. Just relax, step up and lead. Do something, like take action. Do something that will put you in the flow. 
okay? Do some sort of spiritual, um, you know, some sort of spiritual practice where you connect with the divine, okay? Uh, where you're one with the divine, okay? I'm telling you right there, that's gonna connect you with the divine and connect you with the flow of life where now you can be guided and you can receive what's yours, okay, uh, Virgo? This, this, this is a very special message, okay? Now, I don't wanna sound like a salesman, but Virgo, for some of you, you may need a personal reading so that you can know what's going on on your financial path. Okay, guys? Now, let's see what's going on when it comes to money and career. So for my Virgos that are tapped in, right? For my Virgos that are tapped in all the way, you're one with the divine, your energetic field is open, ready to receive, right? All right, so Virgo, remember, sometimes you don't know that you're blocked. But if you know your energy field is open, that's the Virgos that are about to receive, okay? This beautiful gift, okay? It's like a reward. That's what I'm picking up, yeah. There it is. Virgo, it's like a reward from the divine. It's like a, a reward from God for you to climb that ladder, to climb that mountain, to make it to the top, to step up and take the lead, to allow, to allow goodness back into your life, to allow I feel like I just, I, you know, I want, I keep hearing riches and I don't want to be all about money because sometimes this can be love coming in an abundant form. Okay, guys, but let's just, let's just see what we have here on the card. We have cup here, which is overflowing prosperity, guys. Okay, so here's the money. Here's the abundance. Here's the ace of cups from the divine. All right, so this is what, this is, this is your cup here. It's about to overflow, guys, once you tap in. I promise you, I can't make this up. Now, this is for the Virgos. So now you kind of understand my messages. For the Virgos that are tapped in, that have allowed energetic field wide open, push through their insecurities, continuously climbing, but yet honoring their feelings, very balanced, at the same time, in the same breath, grateful, never giving up. In the flow of life, you will be moved. It's almost like you took those steps that was required and now life is about to move you right on up that ladder. Life is about to get easy. Um, have you ever known anyone who had like an easy break where you're like, how did she get that position? Like, you know, I don't know. Have you ever seen someone that just leveled up and you're just le you're just left looking like stuck? Like how I haven't seen her in a year and now she's just com her life is just completely different. Like what? Like completely changed. I don't know. Sometimes, you know, it's favor, it's grace, it's rewards, karmic rewards, justice, karmic justice stepping in. So Virgo, I don't mean to get too, 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 too deep, but I'm very passionate about my Virgos that feel stuck. I'm very passionate about helping you become unstuck, okay, because we all need to reach our level of abundance, okay, that has our name on it. All right, Virgo, so when you do the little bit of work that you need to do energetically and emotionally and mentally, guys, your cup will overflow. I can almost guarantee it, all right? Spirit is saying, yeah, I'm getting a career as a nurturer. Cup represents water taking care of business, fulfilled, 
All right, Virgo. So right now, you might feel like your cup is empty, okay? Because it says full or empty account. You might feel like your account is empty or your cup is empty. But once you, again, you do this work, it's going to be overflowing. And that's the, wa the water, heavy water energy. At the bottom of the deck, we have watch. So there's that that compass, that watch, which represents divine timing, okay? Now, for some of you, you're like, you know, divine timing or not, I haven't received anything. Um, Virgo, you know, you gotta be careful of your mindset because when divine timing come, when it's your time to shine, when it's your time to receive, you wanna be ready energetically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, you want to be ready 100%. If you have any doubt about living a very prosperous life, okay, if you have any doubt that you will live an abundant, successful life, lifestyle, your future will be secure. If you have any doubt about that, Virgo, that's what you're going to manifest. Delays, hesitation. We all have to be patient in order to receive God's gift. Now, if you want quick, fast money, you know, there's other ways, other avenues that you could take. But when you're waiting on God's divine blessing, it's going to have to come through in divine timing, all right? Meaning when God feels it's right, when you're ready, you've developed, you've learned your lessons. Have you ever felt like, you know what? Have you ever felt like at a time in your life where you weren't very, you know, as mature as you are now today, you know, and you were just given, bam, $10, $10 million? How many of you, let me know in the comment comment box down below how many of you feel like if you were blessed with 10 million dollars at a time in your life where you were immature you know wasn't responsible didn't learn all the lessons that you have already learned today how many of you feel that you would have just blew through that money right i know i <laughs> i know i would have okay um so just, just roll with it, Virgo. Roll with the flow. Roll with God's timing. Be in the flow, okay? Because this is going to allow good things to come to you, all right? So Virgo, just know that God knows when it's the right time, all right? I just want you guys, I just wanted to say that because I don't want you to give up on your future, on yourself, on what God has for you. And he's showing you right here the little work that needs to be done for some of you once it's done it's gonna be an overflow of prosperity okay at the bottom of the deck underneath watch divine timing okay we have hand so this represents a helping hand this can be from your spiritual team okay virgo this could be you asking for for some sort of help all right, but this is manifesting money, manifesting money, reaching your goals, receiving financial assistance. So Virgo, you may even be getting some sort of help landing a job, okay? So guys, again, allowing goodness to enter your life, you may start getting help in all sorts of, yeah, all forms, yeah, I'm getting help. I'm getting like, you're going to receive so much dis divine support. That's what I'm picking up. So much goodness in all forms. A job, money, love, okay? Just feeling like you're truly abundant, Virgo. So that's what I'm loving here. Yeah, and that gift of peace and balance. I love that, guys. So what you're doing right now, Virgo, as you're working on yourself, self-love, self-care, pouring into your own cup, just allowing 
divine timing to kick in, being patient. This this may be a waiting period, okay? Because this represents a waiting period as well, all right? So just know, Virgo, that your time is about to come is what I'm picking up. So do whatever necessary spiritual work that you need to do on yourself to, again, allow this goodness into your life, okay? Yeah, take down your walls of protection. All right, guys, yeah. This is beautiful, guys. I love the reading so far for Virgo. Now, this is your oracle messages. If you guys are resonating with the, with the messages so far, let me know in the comments down below. Now, let's get into the tarot for Virgo. Any messages? What does Virgo need to be aware of? Especially today. What is Virgo's energy starting this week? Very optimistic, Virgo. Virgo, you are coming out starting this week very confident. You guys are looking looking forward to something very good. Something's coming that you are definitely, it's like you're confident. You know it's coming. So you're just waiting patiently for it. And I love that energy because the three of wands is a for sure thing, all right? So it starts out with the Ace of Wands, the divine gift, which is what is one of these wands here. You've been given the wand of infinite possibility, all right, Virgo? So you've been given that wand to manifest your dreams. The Two of Wands is making the decision, planning, putting together some sort of uh, plan, agenda, what you're going to do, making a choice. And three of wands is actually waiting for it to manifest. All right, guys. So you're starting out this week, yes, ready for your new life. So guys, for some of you, you're waiting for all that's to come in your new beginning with the world card here. Wow. So Virgo, well, the world card was at the bottom of the deck. But Virgo, this is letting me know there's that there's that karmic justice here, the justice card. So Virgo, this is, it's like spirit is letting me know you did a good job. You did everything that you were supposed to do. You are free. You're free to move on to your next phase in life. Oh, wow. I just heard that seven-year cycle. Wow. I'm hearing a I'm hearing a 10-year life cycle. Wow, this is interesting, Virgo. Okay, guys. So I feel like you've planted seeds and you're ready to see. I feel like there's so much growth, so much potential here for you, Virgo. There's that cup. So there's that overflowing cup here. There's the divine gift. The ace of cups is here. So Virgo, this is what you're waiting for, guys. You're waiting for your cup to overflow. You're waiting for your abundance. You're waiting for what it is you prayed for. Guys, it's coming, as you can see. As you're transitioning, moving on with the justice, this is approval from the divine that divine timing has come. So now we know why divine timing is here. Virgo, you're not about to wait too much longer, guys. That's what this reading is about. So you're going to have to have your emotions in check, balanced. You're going to have to be ready to step up and lead. You're going to have to push through insecurities. 
You're going to have to learn how to relax. Okay, guys? Because I feel like you're moving up into a position of power. I'm seeing major elevation. Leadership. Yeah, you're going to be some sort of leader. Wow, Virgo. This is big. In your new phase, in your new cycle, there's a new mission here, guys. Wow. Let me see what else. Virgo showing up as the three of wands. What else for Virgo? Let's see. Conflict and disharmony in reverse. So we got six of wands in reverse. So this is like coming to a resolution. Finding peace in a, very, in a, in a, in a situation that was filled with a lot of conflict. All right, so there's peace coming, resolution. Wow, there's that Ace of Cups again. Hmm. Yeah, because it says nurturer here. I'm seeing like there could be Virgo, I see you being the bigger person here. You could have some, so you could have been dealing with some co-workers or family, whoever these group of people are. Okay, let me show you in the upright. Whoever these group of people that you've been, you know, having some sort of conflict or disharmony with. Okay, Virgo, whoever these people are, I see it coming to some sort of resolution less resolution coming to an end all right so that conflict is coming to an end wow any challenges virgo may face i feel like you were battling a lot this five of wands the five of wands can definitely represent battle. And I feel like you were going through a lot and now it's in reverse. So it's like the battle is over. The internal battling, okay, with, you know, battling with your inner demons. You know that saying, Virgo, I feel like that has come to an end. Wow. It has something to do with opening up your heart, letting God in. I'm just going to tell you guys what I'm seeing. If you've been having some sort of struggle or difficulty, always feel like you're struggling or battling something or going through something. That's what's coming to an end. Once you honor your feelings, once you Yeah, I feel like for some of you, you, I feel like you prayed about this situation. You prayed about your situation, and now you're seeing changes. You're seeing the result. There's going to be major peace. Whoever you're having conflict with, you're going to see a major change. This Again, this could be people at work. You're going to see a sudden change. You're not going to be responsive to their drama. You're not going to be responsive. You're just going to be over... You're just going to be filled with so much love and so much abundance that it's really blinding. Like these people can't penetrate the layer of protection and love that the divine has put over you. Now that you have released and dropped your, your walls of protection, Virgo, now the divine can enter and penetrate your heart and now put a protection of love around you where now now you're protected the right way that's what i'm picking up for some of you this is deep this is deep i feel like you've been protecting yourself virgo when you need divine protection with that divine protection you're gonna start to see that god will fight your battles for you Okay, God will fight your battles for you. It's coming out in the reverse. Whatever you was going through, addictions, people at work, relationships, family, whatever that is, it can be reversed. 
You can come out of it only if you allow. Allow, okay? Allow your spiritual team to fight these battles for you, okay? For Virgo, please. Is there any challenges that Virgo may face? Any challenges that Virgo may face? Woo, all right. Well, Virgo, I don't see any challenges at all. The Empress and the Nine of Cups, excuse me, the Nine of Pentacles, which is also known as like the Baby Empress. We have two Empress energy, very strong message here. All right. So I don't know why I just heard Cancer. I don't know. For some of you, you could be dealing with a Cancer, know a Cancer around you, a mother that's a Cancer. I don't know. I'm just, I don't know why I just keep hearing that. But you also could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra, okay? Capricorn is heavy in this reading, as well as Taurus Virgo. This is your energy as well. Virgo, the Nine of Pentacles. So, Virgo, this has been a big challenge for you. I mean, like, Spirit is saying this is yours. The life of luxury, Virgo. Virgo, the manifester. That's why in the tarot, Virgo is also known as the, uh, as the magician, just like Gemini. Okay, Virgo, you can make things happen. You can make things happen out of nowhere. You have the power. You always have. Spirit is saying, Virgo, if you really truly want this life of fulfillment, life of luxury, where you are... I don't know. I keep hearing wealthy. Virgo, this is the wealthiest. I feel like mind-blowing wealth. Virgo, you're going to realize how powerful you are. And you're going to see just where the divine wants to put you in this leadership position. I mean, it's like high at the top. I don't know if this is a... I don't know what Virgo this is for. But this is uh, the Empress energy I'm picking up. Um, <laughs> I don't know. You could be marrying into like a rich family, but you're about to level up in a major way. Did you guys remember that? Um, I don't know if it was like an analogy or, you know, do you remember how I was telling you how you took a couple steps up that ladder? Now it's like, you're just about to be picked up and flown all the way to the top. All right, guys, that's what's going on. You're about to level up in a major way. And it doesn't matter if you are not successful right now. What I'm picking up is this is a new level of success. Something you've never seen before. Never experienced. You're really about to overcome major challenges. Spirit is saying, this is the time, Virgo. You're ready as the empress. You've matured. You've elevated. You've grown spiritually. Now you're the mother of all queens. Now you can show everyone how it's done. For some of you, this is success in the face of your family. For some of you, this is you showing everyone, like, this is who I am. This is what... This is where I was supposed to be in life all along. You know, it's like, for some of you, I don't know, I'm just picking up a lot of people's energy. But Virgo, don't miss out on this opportunity, guys. Look at this. I'm going to just show you the Four of Cups. Don't miss out on this opportunity due to, you know, your emotional state. You know, sometimes we can get emotional. We got conflict, most, multiple people coming after us. You know, we could be in the position where we're just tired of waiting. Whatever it is, Virgo, don't give up on yourself ever, okay? Don't, let your, don't ever let your emotions become so unbalanced that you miss out. Like, literally, don't. 
It's like literally just refusing this new lifestyle. For some of you, this is an opportunity that you can miss out on if you're too emotionally um, negative. And I hate to have to say that, but I, I'm, I have to help you, right? <laughs> I have to help you. So if you find yourself in this energy too long, and remember, Virgo, this is heavy water energy. So we're not too comfortable in this energy for, for too long anyway. But Virgo, just know that your life, you might not be too happy with how things are, but just know that it's temporary and it's about to change. And if you stay too upset about it for too long, you might not see the blessing coming in from the divine. Again, there's that ace of cups coming in that's going to change your life. A overflowing cup of prosperity is coming just for you. It's going to take you to the top. All right. Now, remember, Virgo, you're being put in this position of leadership, of power, so that you can help change other people's life. I don't know why I just heard, I heard Oprah. Okay. I don't know why I just heard Oprah, but you're going to be the positive version. Okay. You're going to be the real positive version of changing people's lives, okay? You're going to be the real deal. And it's nothing to be afraid of, of this power. You're going to be really protected this time. All right, Virgo, this is your reading, guys. We got the four of wands. You did it. This is the celebration. You did it, guys. You're going to make it. You're going to make it to the finish line. And it might surprise you. The four of wands can represent a surprise. Virgo, this victory, this life-changing event that's going to happen here in your life, it's going to be surprising. You got that home. You always want it. You got the home. You got the partner. You got the life. Look at all of this beautiful yellow. It's victory, guys. It may have taken some time. But you're going to financially solidify. There's going to be a strong st structure. I'm hearing a strong foundation financially for you, Virgo. The nine of pentacles is living the good life. Not working. Have plenty of money. You know, you might start opening up nonprofit organizations, charities of that, you know, of your decision, of your choice helping people start up businesses, starting a podcast, showing people. I mean, you're just going to be doing so many things, Virgo, that you never saw yourself doing. Okay? And this is all creation coming from your heart. God is putting you in a position where you're supposed to be. Not hard labor, but actually, you're special. And I've been picking that up for a long time. You're powerful, you're special, and you're meant to do something so much greater in this lifetime, Virgo. Number one, you need God in your life. Number two, control your emotions. Be grateful for every miracle. Be grateful for everything that you have in your life right now. Even if your life is not where you want it to be, find something. I got a job. I got a best friend. I have great relationships with my kids. Whatever you can find to be grateful for, do it today. And if for my Virgos that are already on point, for my Virgos that are, you know, because we got, we got multiple different Virgos out here. There's Virgos who are already on point. Do you see? You're starting out your energy like, what? Yes, I know what's coming and I am already waiting for it. That's how eager you are. That's how confident you are. That's how all knowing and one with the divine that you are. You prayed about it. You lifted it up and you're waiting patiently because you know it's coming. 
So Virgo, that's how you starting out your week. For my Virgos that are already one with the divine, you already know to start waiting and getting prepared. You know how like when your Lyft is coming or your Uber, you're like, okay, let me check. They got two minutes. Okay, let me start walking out the door. Or it's not even like that example. It's almost like, you know, um, it's almost like this. It's almost like, it's just almost like the, the faith, the energy of like, you know what? I don't know how I'm gonna get to work today, but I'm gonna get up and get dressed anyway. Because I prayed about this last night and I know that I'm gonna find a way to get to work. It's kind of like that energy. I'm trying to find a good example. That's what this three of wands is giving me. It's like, I prayed about it. I already know it's coming. So I'm just going to patiently have my, my heart, my energy field open because I'm ready to, to receive. Okay? That's what it is. Yeah. That's what it is. All right, Virgo. So stay in that energy of expecting. All right. Yeah. I love this reading, guys. This is beautiful. This is really, really beautiful. I want to see what's going on with my Virgos when it comes to love. For Virgo, when it comes to love. All right, eight of wands. So Virgo, love is looking really good. There's that ladder. Mm-hmm. So Virgo, I feel like, yep, Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, and there's the wheel. King of Pentacles. Okay, so Virgo. So we got a King of Pentacles. For some of you, you could be dating or in a relationship with the Earth sign. I don't want to show you guys too much of this deck because there is some nudity. So I'm just going to have it off to the side. But we do have a King of Pentacles, Taurus. Virgo, Capricorn. So for some of you, you're dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or another Virgo. But I do see that you guys are, I'm seeing a very strong connection. There's a lot of financial security here. With the Ace of Pentacles, I'm getting a fresh new start. So yeah, with the Four of Wands here, I'm seeing you and your partner becoming stronger than ever, like working through your problems, working through obstacles. The will of fortune is letting me know when it comes to you and your love life, Virgo, I'm seeing a lot of fortune and a lot of abundance when it comes to love. Here's you and your partner. I don't know if you can really see, but they're chilling. They're hanging out in the bed. They're just enjoying their life, looking forward to the future. The will of fortune is letting me know that there's a cycle that has completed with you and, a, and your partner, where it's like now you're moving, you're getting closer. You're starting a new life, a new chapter together. And I'm seeing marriage, or if it's not marriage, I'm seeing a lot of domestic happiness. Like you guys could be purchasing a new car, getting a new house, buying a lot of material things, okay? Manifesting a lot of money. So what's coming in fast with the eight of wands? This could be communication. You could be getting messages from your partner today. I'm getting like... Maybe going out on a date or spending time or going like out on a getaway, like a little small trip. Okay, yeah, we have the Knight of Wands doing something really fun and exciting. Yes, Virgo, you and your partner doing something exciting, taking a little trip or doing something you guys have never done before. But I'm seeing it will be very passionate, Virgo. Wow. All right, guys. For some of you, I'm seeing gifts. You might be getting a gift this week, all right? So be careful of pregnancy. I do see with the uh, empress representing the mother, 
Um, and I'm seeing a lot of passion. Um, I'm seeing a lot of um, a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry. Um, and with the fertile empress, this can definitely represent with the new beginning energy here. It can represent a new life, giving life, giving birth. All right. So be for some of you, you may find out you're pregnant. All right. Is what I'm seeing here. You and your partner may be expecting a baby soon, Virgo. But I'm seeing you and your partner coming together stronger than ever and building a very strong foundation here. I'm seeing a lot of success and happiness brewing. All right, guys. So this is beautiful. I'm loving this reading so far. I almost don't want it to end, but this is what I'm picking up for you so far for this week and a special and special messages that came out for today. All right, guys, I will be back a little later to tap in. I'm going to do a financial reading for you, but this is what I got so far, Virgo. If you're feeling in the reading at all, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below how this reading resonated with you. Until the next time, stay blessed and abundant, Virgo. And keep that energy filled open, guys. There's a lot coming your way. All right, Virgo. Bye, you guys.